hey y'all welcome back to my channel so in this video i just wanted to go over some questions that were in my comments on some of my videos some of these videos that i got these questions from are kind of old but that don't mean i still can't answer the questions right because sometimes i'm not gonna lie people do be asking the same questions over and over and over like it'll be different people though i'm gonna try to do these type of videos as much as i can so y'all probably won't see a question answering video like this maybe some months from now because i'll upload videos for a month and maybe three or four people might leave questions in the comments for the most part i answer questions in the comments but sometimes i don't or sometimes i might forget to answer them or sometimes i just might not see them that's basically what this video is going to be about i have a good six questions written down i had to go find questions that i did not answer question number one and i'm gonna have their questions on the screen and i'm gonna say their names kelsey senegal 1937 and five and the same vu asked what skin do i use the skin that i use is by reshade i'm gonna show y'all a picture of what the skin looks like like the actual ad from reshade and i'm gonna show y'all the name of the skin because a lot of people do ask me this the skin that i am currently wearing right now it's called hana and it's the no brow version because i'm wearing my own custom brows the body skin is by valor so that's why it says reshade and valor because you can get a valor body skin to match this skin and it's in the rose kiss skin tone so it's like a pinkish color kind of that is the skin that i am currently wearing right now next question dab a start what do i use to record what i use to record is obs studio i've been using this for the longest it's free if you want to make videos tiktoks gaming content whatever obs but i can't say i used to use obs to stream and stuff i don't use obs to stream anymore i use Streamlabs when i do stream but i love obs to record though the next question kai v 3dl what pc do i have so this is the PC that I have. These are the specs that I had picks because you can pick different ones. I have these specs. Well, no, these are the specs that I picked. As you can see, it has a 4060. I changed out my graphics card because I have an old computer. I put that graphics card in this computer and I took out this 4060 and I put in my 3070 Ti. I'm not gonna go through all that again, but I talked about that in one of my videos though. The next question, Virgo Scriviest and Jenny Cromwell 8173. What are some gaming laptop suggestions to play Second Life? Gaming laptop suggestions? I would say from me seeing a lot of people that game on laptops, like you will be very surprised. There's a lot of creators that play Second Life on laptops and there's nothing wrong with using a laptop to play Second Life. I don't have a gaming laptop or I don't really play Second Life on a laptop, but if I could suggest, I would say Alienware or a Asus laptop, like gaming laptop make sure if you look these laptops up you get the gaming version because i know asus has regular laptop you might need for school or something so make sure you're getting the gaming version i think all alienware computers desktop laptops i think they're all meant for gaming i believe don't quote me on that those are like the main laptops i see people use some people use macbooks i feel like if you're just now getting in the second life macbooks aren't that good for gaming so i wouldn't suggest a macbook but if that's all you have then obviously that's all you have but if you're wanting to get a laptop to play second life i would say alienware or aces the next question vixenish where did i get my instagram animation and intro so it is a site called creator set i remember seeing this on tiktok maybe like a year ago and this dude was promoting it basically and ever since then love it they have a bunch of stuff on here surprisingly if you watch twitch you will definitely see a lot of people with like this or if you see like the little phone animation or this like they have so much stuff on here they have like settings for people that edit videos on premiere pro they got kick alerts they got the instagram thingy thing twitter like comment subscribe buttons all of that they got youtube instagram tiktok twitch premiere pro and then like green screen thingies they got everything in here but like i said this is where i got those animations even my outro where it's like my instagram thing so let me go to instagram my instagram thing with the little pictures let me see if i can find it 
yeah here it is you put your username and it's gonna pop up and then you can select three pictures that you want to go on your thing i actually need to get a new one because those pictures that are on my outro are so old my avatar doesn't even like that no more but it is what it is but i'm thinking about getting an updated version and you can do like maybe one or two revisions and then after that you have to pay for it again so that's the only thing so you can't just be like oh well i got a new account or i changed my profile picture i want to put some different pictures on my thing i think they only let you revise it once and then after that they be like mm -mm, you gotta rebuy it so and then the last question that i put on here was the zombies 96 11 can i make a video showing how to change my settings and wind lights to make my game look better with this actually i'm gonna get on firestorm because that way i could play with like the wind light g-shade all that and i don't have to be worrying about no my game doesn't look like how i had it before so let me get on firestorm real quick okay so this is what my game looks like on a firestorm it looks kind of crazy let me turn off Ooh, let me turn off g-shade <laughs> so i don't mess with y'all eyes or anything also a lot of people use firestorm so that's another reason why i got one firestorm and also it's easier so first of all y'all know these are the wind lights you want to change your wind lights go to sky and change water and all of this don't really matter nobody cares for that i don't know i don't care for that but the main thing is this sky you know you go through the different ones change the stuff or whatever okay cool you download g shade like i said i use that currently for really video sake when i do like pictures or when i take my ads for like my tattoos and my main store and all that i don't have my g shade on i don't plan on having my g shade on my key bind to turn on my g shade is my slash key so i just press that and it turns it on also my g shade setting on here is a thing so when i zoom all the way out it's not as blue blurry but when i zoom in you see like the font and stuff all the words are blurry all of this is blurry that's part of the g shade to open up my g shade i have to press shift and backspace i think this is the default keybind to open it i'm not sure but you could change it like in your settings and stuff to what you want your thing to be yeah because i haven't changed it so it's shift and backspace to toggle my shader which is to turn g shade on and off is i put the slash key so this is what i have on right now these are default settings so if you download g shade right now these are default presets that they have on g shade and i'm using alma studio natural light and you know these are like the different ones oh this one is kind of cute this is color pop and then this is how you turn it off the one that i have and like these are like all the extras and stuff so you can go through this you don't want that you see it makes shadows i guess this don't really do nothing this is to sharpen it a little bit so you can just go through the different stuff and like see what you want what you don't want this makes like the background blurry this is also shadows that's something i like with g-shade having it on second life at the same time because second life also has wind lights too say you, i don't really like this preset you can go through your wind lights and see what wind light is compatible with the g-shade preset you have on so say you're like mm, i don't like this you go through the different ones to change to see how you like it oh wait i kind of like that one like this kind of looks crazy though hold on can she like walk forward a little bit this is kind of cute though matter of fact mm, she look kind of scary i don't know a lot but anyways it's different ones you could go through see which ones you like and just keep playing with them i feel like that's really what it is with second life it's so many like endless combinations you can come up with to make your game look so nice and let me just show y'all my settings real quick if i know where that is preferences okay let me turn off this g shade because y'all not gonna be able to see okay graphics my graphics right now aren't on between high and ultra i could put them on ultra i don't feel like it this is what i keep my stuff on all of this i don't even know if i touch this type of stuff i probably did i honestly don't go on my settings on firestorm i really 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 don't yeah y'all could screenshot this i don't know these are like my settings and stuff obviously the higher you have your graphics the better your game will look in a way so i just turned it down a little bit and you can see like her face is a little pixelated on the side compared to 
if I turn it back up, it's more crisp. These were questions that I found in my comments, like I said in the beginning of the video. Questions that either a lot of people were asking, questions that I either forgot to answer or never got to answer, or new questions that I seen and I was like, you know what? Let me answer that. Hopefully y'all like this video. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and I'm gonna be back with another video. Remix killer, oh, drop that ass on the floor and come back, rotate it, don't be too proud to say I'm your fave.